Oh my god, yes! It's part of the Ananya lore. Can we edit this out, guys? No, I think you should keep it. You really meant to. Why? Oh, I thought you just liked me. <laughs> Damn it. It's so really rainy outside, isn't it? It is. It's pretty. Do you like the rains? I do when I'm not in it. That's, enjoy the weather when you're removed from it. So you know what upsets me the most is in films, they make rain look so romantic and stuff. And when you're shooting like rain scenes, it's I can't even open my eyes. I don't know how people like look at each other romantically in the rain. I don't get it. But there's a lot of rain sequences in my show that's coming up, Call Me Bay. Oh, really? Yes. That's nice, B. <laughs> no, my show is called Call Me Bay. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, that's what it's called. Yes. Oh, I thought you just liked me. <laughs> <laughs> so, how's everyone at home? Everyone is not at home right now because I live alone now with my doggy, Riot. You live alone with a dog? Yeah. I live alone with my cat. Really? What's your cat's name? Her name is Sara. She's named after my favorite comedian. I feel like I should have named my dog Restil or like Peace or something because I named him Riot and now he's like. He's a riotous He's a riot. dog. And I think that happens like when you name like animals or like children something then they become their name. So I feel like Restil would have been a better name. This is a whole theory that you sort of grow into your name. Yeah. Um, have you seen any uh, fun reels lately? Snake. I'm obsessed with snakes. So like a lot of like sn people catching snakes or like different kinds of snakes and stuff. They're my favorite animals. You like snakes? I love snakes. How is this? I would not put this together with you. Really? Do I not look like a snake lover? You look, I mean, I don't know what a snake lover would look like. <laughs> <This>. But <laughs> you would be in Slytherin, do you think? A hundred percent. Really? Yes. I really? I, nope, I'm fully a Slytherin. Like, okay, alright. Yes, right. I will not take anything. You know else. what? I'm sorry for like, my reaction. I would reaction. break the sorting hat if it does not sort me into Slytherin. Like my favourite hmm. Harry Potter character is Sirius Black. Oh, he's a good one. He's, he's a daddy. He's daddy. Yeah. He's daddy. Yeah. Is okay. it daddy or a daddy? I guess so. Uh, I feel like I'm so uncool right now. He's a father. He's a father. <laughs> he's my father. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're like, okay. <laughs> I like it. How do you like your peanut butter? With my pancakes. I have pancakes every evening at 6 pm. At 6 pm? Every evening at 6 pm. Have you like, had? I, I just had it right now. That's why I'm fine and I'm able to talk to you and be in a good mood because I had my pancakes. But they're healthy. They're healthy. And then you have your four walnuts and one khajur. Oh my god, yes! This is part of the Ananya lore. Does everyone know this about me? It's your legend. Like khajur and akrot. Yes. So this pancakes, the peanut butter you put on it, is it plain or...? Uh... It's crunchy. Damn it. I was hoping you would say chunky. You know, like our dad. <laughs> My dad's name is not Crunchy, luckily. No. It's Chunky. He's not a dwarf from Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Chunky could be. Chunky could be. Chunky could be. It's, it's cute. cute. It's cute. It's cute. Yeah. Thing. Ananya, what are you? Sorry, that's not the entirety of the question. Uh, what are you listening to? I'm having a huge Taylor Swift phase again. I, she's great. I'm a Swiftie too. Yeah. What, what 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 albums were you listening to? I like old school Taylor Swift, like You Belong With Me and that type. You were the fearless era. A original Taylor Swift album, when she was a country chick. Like a lover girl, you know. You know. Now she's very like... Uh, what are you reading? What did I just read man? It took me forever. We can guess oh, it. Oh, it's called my year, of, uh, my year of Rest and Relaxation. That's the book I just finished reading. If I could suggest, there is a spicy romance series called A Court of Thorns and Roses. This rose and all is a big... No, but I'm not a romance reader. Okay. And spicy and I feel shy when I'm reading these You things. feel shy? Yeah, I feel shy. Fair enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you, you do feel paranoid when you're reading Yeah, I'm reading like, oh my god, I'm not reading the answer. <laughs> so fair. Yeah, it's not... Yeah. It's quite stressful to read it in public. This is a three-part question. Have you ever been ghosted? Have you ever ghosted someone? And would you play a ghost in a movie? Yes, yes, yes. Oh. Like, Bool Bool is my favourite film. It's a good one. It's very scary. Like, I still am like, ah. I just stopped doing Kathak, you know, I was so scared of Monjalika <laughs> because I could hear Gungru all the time, so I had to literally stop doing Kathak. I think it would be nice to see you play a ghost. I want to be the one scaring people, I don't want to get scared. I feel like it's the scary, the, the ghost is scarier if the ghost is attractive. Because it's like, why are they pissed? What happened? You know, like, it's, it's concerning. I have never thought of that. I'm just afraid of hot ghosts. No, okay. <laughs> yeah. And aroused. 
<laughs> I saw in an interview. I'm scared. Oh no, no, okay. no. Okay, no, don't worry. It's not like my research has been known to hold up. But I saw in an interview that you find it really hard to laugh on cue. Can't. Is this okay? It's tough. Don't do not ask me to laugh. I can't do it. Really? I can't. But even if like someone's making a face, you just. I do it. not find anything funny. This is in the moment that I'm supposed to find something funny. But when I'm not supposed to find something funny, I'm just lolling. It's like the classroom syndrome thing where like you're not supposed to laugh, you end up laughing. <laughs> So, what have you been working on lately? Call me Bay. Yes. Yes. So, what is it about? Like, what's the plot? It's about this girl who basically has has lived a life like really protected and in a bubble and like from has like a fancy life, you know, super rich and stuff. And then because of certain things, something goes wrong, and yes. she has to like live life on her own and mm -hmm. on a budget, and you know, find her way in the world. And it's a comedy, but there's a lot of like drama and meaning in it as well. I think I did a shit job at describing it. No, you've done a great job explaining because it's like a, a riches to rags, like coming of age thing. So yeah, that makes sense. It sounds great. It sounds really nice. That's lovely. Yes. Okay. And so it's an amalgamation of like every chick flick I've loved growing up. Okay. So this brings me to the next question, which is related. It's a thought experiment. If you woke up one day and you weren't an actor or a star. What would you be? And don't let what you think maybe are your abilities limit you. Like anything, you could be anything. A primary school teacher. What? Or a doctor. Ooh. But every time I say I would like to be a doctor because my grandparents were doctors, so I, and yeah. I was—it's not really a reason, but I was obsessed with biology yeah. uh, growing up. But every time I say that, people are like, "We would never trust you with our lives." So, I think primary school. Teacher. So they like they wouldn't trust you with their life, but they would trust you with their children. I don't think uh, we should let people's trust get in the way. If you yeah. if you were a doctor, what kind of doctor would you? A pediatrician. Maybe it's the kids. You just want to be around. I just want to be around kids. babies. Yeah. Primary school is a good uh, call though as a teacher. Yeah. Because the teenagers. It's a fun age. You can do all those like potato paintings and all. I want to do that. Yeah. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. The cute round kids. Love it. Yeah. Yeah. Your character works in a newsroom. What is the weirdest fake news you've heard about yourself? I mean, what have I not heard about myself? That I didn't get myself my own car. I was like, I worked hard for it. What? Yes. That's the fake. That's the fake news. I mean, that's the most recent fake news. I feel like it's simple mathematics to dismiss this news. Yeah, I feel like when people see a girl successful and doing well, and the first thought is that oh, she didn't do that on her own, pisses me off. Yes. I'm sure. I'm sure a successful woman buying her own car pisses many people off. Yes, maybe that's the reason. That's probably it. Ugh. I mean, we've done a lot of small talk, but I thought maybe we could end like with a big question. Okay. It's a big one. I'm scared. Don't, don't, don't. Okay. Or uh, maybe a little bit. <laughs> Where do you think we go after we die? Heaven. Heaven. Yeah. And so, and you I believe in so. life after death? Yeah. I believe in like I don't want to believe in reincarnation hmm. because I don't understand it completely because I'm like if this soul goes to another body like what does it remember so I I want to if my this body doesn't exist yeah then I want to have the memories of this body or like this life yeah. so I would I would prefer believing in heaven existing more yeah. than reincarnation so I would like to believe that there's heaven and everyone's united and like Everyone's chilling up there. And you with your loved ones. Yeah. And you want to go to heaven with like the memories of your friends and your family and your loved ones and you just you want to continue this life. You don't want to come back to earth and do it all over again basically, which is like If I'm not this then I don't want to come back. No thanks. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'd like to come back as her if that's that's an option. <laughs> not her, not like oh if I'm not an no. I mean like I don't know how to be anyone else. Hopefully this is the last one and you get to go to heaven. Yeah, maybe it's my ninth life as a cat and now. Yeah. That's it. This is it. We got along well, no? I think we did. Do you want a date? <laughs> sure. <laughs> But only if you catch me. Oh my gosh, she's gonna make me work for it. <gasps> wow! Oh my God, we have to go on a date. Cheers. <laughs>